That's Dean. That means the other 38 that the Hilltop are holding are from the satellite outpost. Those are my people. I'm gonna kill every last one of those farmers. You will do exactly what I ask. We can't let them get away with this shit. You will do your job! Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing a bunch of conflict between Simon and Negan during The Walking Dead Season 8B, along with possible death predictions. With that being said, major warning of spoilers for everything in the show, and let's jump right into this. So let's just get the big question out of the way. Will Negan eventually end up murdering Simon? This is a big question, and I'll be discussing it in this video, so I hope you enjoy. Alright, so Negan wants to continue killing the right person at the right time, causing the rest to fall in line. I'm sure many of you are already aware of Negan's mentality and mindset about this whole thing, but let me give a quick summary. Negan truly believes that his way of leading is the best way to keep people alive. Negan is so used to people dying willy-nilly left, right, and center that he decided to become the leader himself in order to keep people together, organized, and alive. Negan seems to want to set an example by killing one person, but Simon feels like that isn't a strict enough punishment and that they should instead wipe out an entire community to set an example for other communities. Negan is so stuck on people being a useful resource that he won't cut his losses like Simon wants him to. Since Simon keeps suggesting that they wipe out complete communities, it makes me believe even more so that Simon was the one who decided to kill all the men from Oceanside. When Simon brought Gregory to the sanctuary, he suggested killing everyone at the hilltop if they didn't cooperate, and Negan got mad at him. The backsliding was Simon suggesting to kill an entire community, along with possibly taking matters into his own hands. Originally, when I heard Negan discussing the backsliding with Simon in episode 805, I thought that it was a reference to something that happened during Negan's backstory, and that they were going to translate it into the show from the Here's Negan comic, but Negan may have been in fact talking about Simon killing everyone at Oceanside. This implies that Negan has gotten mad at Simon before for killing off entire communities, such as the men from the Oceanside, along with that library group from the end of season 6 that we briefly saw Simon kill off to threaten Rick. If Negan has already given him a second chance, Simon now killing the garbage group will be the final straw. Now they did a good job in implying why Simon was so short-tempered going to Jadis' group. First off, he wanted to kill all of them in the first place, and it's just Negan that didn't want him to. And then Simon gets even more pissed off when he finds out that Maggie has all of his men held prisoner. So not only is he ordered to not kill all the garbage people as he wanted, he doesn't even want to deal with them anymore. He's now all worked up about the hilltop, but Negan still insists that he should instead take care of the garbage people first. So when Simon arrives at the junkyard, he has little to no patience. When he mentions to Jadis that they caught a lucky break, he really means that because if it was up to him, they'd all been dead already, and while they end up all dead anyways, but Simon still kind of tried to follow Negan's rules. And yes, Simon maybe was pushing Jadis a bit too much, but that's what the saviors do when they intimidate. I bet if Jadis would have actually treated him with respect, he would have actually just left with only killing one or two of her people. I'm honestly surprised that Rick didn't bring up the garbage people dying at all. And I guess that Rick doesn't know that Negan didn't want all of them dead, but you think he could have thrown in a, screw you for killing all of Jadis' people or something. It would have been so funny for Rick to unintentionally sell out what Simon did to Negan right then and there, so I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't happen. I expected Negan to respond, what did you say Rick, all the garbage people are dead, followed by a bunch of screaming at Simon. Simon is starting to truly defy Negan in ways we've never seen saviors do before, especially since he's telling his opinions right to Negan's face. Even though this angers Negan, he still listens to what Simon has to say, because after all, Simon is his right hand man. It's truly interesting interesting to think about Negan's right-hand man not believing in Negan's ways anymore. Simon even directly said to Negan's face that his methods haven't been working that great recently, but Negan being stubborn in his ways still tells Simon to deliver that same old message that just simply hasn't been working. Negan doesn't want to take Simon up on his offer and just kill everyone because Negan truly believes that what he does actually works and that it will work no matter what. It's not just that Negan refuses to listen to Simon because he's stubborn and has a big ego. Well, you know, maybe that is a part of it, but Negan is genuinely convinced that his method of killing one to save the rest while having them fall in line is honestly the best way to go about things. And it's not like Simon gave him a much better option. Either Negan continues doing what he's doing, or he does what Simon wants, which is to just kill everyone, which is the easy way out. So Simon went and killed the garbage people, against Negan's orders, and now we're just waiting for Negan to find out. There's no way that Simon is just expecting Negan to never find out about this, so how 
does Simon expect to explain things? Does he think that Negan won't find out until after the war is over and maybe he won't care anymore? Also, what will Negan do to punish Simon if he does find out? He could demote him, maybe give him the iron, but I feel like the punishment will be death. Negan has warned Simon multiple times to do his job and to not kill all of them, and Simon not only defied those orders, but he also lied to Negan's face after. Not only that, but he's already gotten in trouble previously for killing everyone at Oceanside, supposedly, so he's already been given a second chance. Considering Simon doesn't want to kill just one person to set an example for everyone else, it would be ironic to have Negan kill Simon to do just that. What if Negan ended up murdering Simon with Lucille as an example for all the other saviors to make damn sure that no one defies him again? I could see him Luceling Simon as punishment the same as anyone else, and it's honestly been a while since we've seen Negan Lucille seal anyone, so are we due for another Lucille death before the end of Season 8? So with that being said, I doubt Negan will be so forgiving, but let me know what you guys think. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, as it really helps get my video out there for more people to see. Feel free to subscribe for more Walking Dead Season 8 content in the near future, and if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon. There's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as a chance to directly influence the videos being produced. It isn't necessary by any means, but it could really help in the long run. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Got it done. That and then some. So tell me how it went. Standard message and delivery. Showed him and told him. There was remorse. <laughs>